Hi, good morning everyone. Jasper Filon here, live from the audio coach office in Rotterdam. Uh, we're the first ones in the office and I wanted to use that opportunity to show you around, show you our meeting room equipment and give you a little bit of insight in how we deploy our devices for real life co-working. Um, let me switch the camera around and show you what we have here. So here we are in the main room of our office. We call this the boiler room. We can easily fit eight people over here, 12 if we have to. Um, and this is where we usually meet as a team. We work together, we call it together. Um, and of course we cannot do that without a good camera video setup. Um, what we have here, and I'll show you close-ups in a minute, we have the RS300 uh, touchscreen over here. It's the main console. I can join meetings over here, add people, mute calls all the things you want to do. It has the microphone and the speakers built in. Um, over here, we can see the camera, uh, wide angle, so even the people sitting very close to the camera are perfectly in frame. And then of course, we have the big screen connected to that um, with a beautiful picture of our audio goes off it. Um, so let me grab the camera and I'll show you the console uh, up close. So here we have the RSV100 console once we've joined the meeting. Um, you can see I have all the meeting controls right on the console available. I can mute myself, I can turn the video on and off. I can raise my hand, I can adjust volume. Um, and let me swing the camera around so you can see the big screen. There we have it, meeting is on the big screen. On the right, of course, we had a preview of what we look like to the remote participants. Um, and here we have the camera, um, like I said, on eye level, so everyone feels included in the meeting. So behind me is the boiler room where we were earlier, but once it gets busy and you have a quiet meeting, it's nice to have a different place. So let me swing around. This is what we call the cube. It's a typical huddle room. We can fit four, maybe six people in there. And we have some special equipment in there, which I would love to show you. Uh, but let me grab a coffee first. So here we are in our huddle room. Um, we have the RHV81 collaboration bar over here. And what we did for the huddle room is we combined it with a touchscreen. So you don't have to use remote control. You don't have to connect your laptop. You can see my meeting is right here. I can tap on the screen and it will automatically join the meeting. Let's give it a second to load. Um, and you can actually see the camera in frame over here. Um, again, I have my controls on the, on the bottom. I can change the volume over here. I can turn my camera on and off. So, like I said, we have a great solution you can use for things like round tables, like gatherings. Um, so let's get out of the cube and I'll show you how we do that. So we walk a few steps through the office. And when we turn around, you can see our mobile unit over here. It's on wheels, as you can see, um, and again, we combined a touchscreen with an RSV81. Um, let me put down the camera and I'll show it to you up close. So here we are next to our mobile solution. Um, it's on wheels, so we can wheel this around the office, use it anywhere we want. Um, it's again based on the RSV81 um, with a touchscreen. Of course, this one is a lot larger, so you can see it from farther away. Um, and we use this a lot for what we call our round tables, um, which is an event where we invite like 20, 25 people and centered around the subject. Um, we've done round tables on Teams, of course, but also a contact center on AI. Um, and what this allows us to do is, of course, share the presentations and we can stream them wirelessly thanks to the RXV81. But we also use this a lot to invite our Israeli colleagues on our events. Um, so people will be standing all around the screen. They'll be, uh, they'll be here, visible, um, of course, great audio quality. Um, and because we mounted the camera on eye level again for standing audience, it makes for a really immersive experience. Mm -hmm. 